On today's episode of Press This, a hands-on look at WordPress 3.8 Release Candidate 1. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Press This. I'm your host, Dan. And Press This is your weekly look at plugins, themes, anything in the WordPress framework. We take a look at it, give a review, give our opinions on it, provide it to you in a small, nice small little block for your pleasure. You're going to notice that my host, Matt, is in here, my co-host, Matt, is in here today. Uh, the reason for that, he's been really busy doing a lot of the Matt Report stuff lately. Uh, specifically, he's gearing up for Matt Report Startup Challenge number two, which is really, really cool. Excited for that. Um, Press this is proudly brought to you by our themes, SiliconThemes.com. You have socialized, minimized, responsive, clean, lean WordPress themes for you. So the reason why I'm also here today is because I recently had a chance to guest post on another website, and that website was already running MP6, uh, which is going to be sort of the new kind of dashboard for WordPress, which is really, really cool stuff. It looks different. So I want to give you a screencast today, actually, uh, because I just got uh, WordPress 3.8 myself um, downloaded, or at least Release Candidate 1 just came out. So I'm going to provide links in the article uh, below if you're watching on YouTube or in the article itself, if you're looking at the article on our websites, um, on how to get the plugin, you know, WordPress beta tester. It's actually a free plugin you can download provided by the folks at Automatic. And what it basically does is it allows you to automatically, right from within WordPress, update to the newest version, which is, includes the release candidates. Now, I do want to stress before you do that, and we stress this every time before a new version of WordPress comes out, do not load this, you know, this beta or this release candidate one, I should say on your live website. Use it on like a test website. I'll be using it on our, our Ziki.net website we use for testing purposes or do it on a local host or something like that. Um, we'll also provide a link to the blog post itself for release candidate one so you can take a look at that. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. So right off the bat, you're going to notice that this is a very different look than typical WordPress. This is due to MP6, which is the new look for your dashboard, darker colors. We're here on the themes appearance page, so we're taking a look at what these themes are going to look like now. You'll notice bigger boxes, a more square look. What you can do is you can just click the little activate button underneath and activate that theme just like that. We see here uh, the 2014 theme, which is also new with 3.8. You'll see that all of the options for widgets, menus, customizations are at the bottom. Going to the menu here, You'll notice again a boxier look, sort of more structured in the way it, the way it looks, trying to organize one piece from another piece. These are the custom header and background appearance pages found on the 2014 theme. These are specific to the 2014 theme. So if you don't see them on your other custom theme, then that's why. To add a new theme, you actually just click this plus button now, which is really, really cool. It takes you right to the install themes page and it's done right from the themes option. What's really jarring about this is that the plugins page has no such feature. So there's nowhere to add the plugin on the plugin page like there is on the themes. It's a little disjointed because one page has one thing, one page has the other. Moving on to some of the color options you have with MP6. You'll see here that for user profiles, there are different color options, some lighter than others. This is the midnight one. We were using the default one before. Blue is a very, very light blue color. And there's also the light option, which is very light, a little bit closer to the older WordPress you might know and love. I personally prefer the default one because I think it does a really, really good job of segmenting the different sections of the WordPress backend. Here we are looking at what it looks like to add a new post. Right off the bat, I think the new text font is really, really great. Again, getting rid of a lot of those shadows, those circles, making it very square, very organized, very easy to use. All the buttons were they were before, hiding the kitchen sink, showing the kitchen sink, more tags, fonts. The text box is still there as well for you. Media library looks very, very similar. They did just edit that recently, I believe, with 3.6. So editing that again this gets a little redundant. There's an image input. Just scrolling down and showing some of the other, where some of the other boxes will go again, just very square. 
The new widget area chooser was designed to allow you to drag widgets from one side of the screen and better organize so you don't have a thousand sidebars on one end and all these widgets over there. I still think there's a little bit of work that could be done here because dragging and dropping widgets is still a little difficult, especially when you scroll down here to some of the uh, unused widgets or inactive widgets. And it becomes a little bit difficult. You're going to see me here trying to drag it up. And it was a little difficult for me to do so. So I still think there's a lot of cleanup that could be done here. Maybe include floating uh, sidebars on the right side because right now there's just empty space there. And there's a look at adding some of the sidebars there and the way it's organized now. This is a look at 2014, the actual theme. Very, very Windows 8 looking square, again, flat design in line with Apple iOS or the Windows 8 design for that matter, which was originally the Windows design before Apple. But, you know, we have the calendar widget I just put up over on the left, the title on the top left there so you can take a look at that. And, of course, the toolbar looks very similar to what it looked like before. So another change is there. Just a very, very clean look. And there you have it, folks, my hands-on walkthrough and my opinions on the new uh, WordPress 3.8 uh, from themes all the way down to MP6, menus, widgets, how it's navigated, text, stuff like that, fun stuff. If you have any comments or you have any questions about WordPress 3.8, please leave comments below either on YouTube uh, or on the article itself. And as always, subscribe to us. Hit the big old red subscribe button on YouTube. We are looking to hit 10,000 uh, subscribers, which is pretty nuts, but I hope we can get there soon enough. Uh, thanks a lot, folks.